Welcome back to the Tax Advisor and Biz Coach Success Podcast. The purpose of these episodes is to help entrepreneurs become more successful, avoid tax and other business headaches. Remember to tune in frequently as we will be sharing tips, secrets, and expert recommendations in how you can manage your finances, improve wealth, and grow your business. Please like, share, and subscribe. Here's your host, Liz Soria. Well, hello, hello, folks. Um, Today, we're going to talk about a very interesting topic, a question that I get asked over and over by many, many, uh, I call them newbies, uh, trying to get into the real estate, and that is, what is your best option at this point? Um, Are you planning to wholesale? Are you thinking about fix and flip? Or perhaps you do want to become a landlord. So I'm going to be just briefly touching base each of uh, those subjects. And in case you didn't know who I am, I am Liz Soria. I am a tax advisor and accountant, and I have been specializing in the real estate industry for quite a few years now. So let's go ahead and jump in, and uh, that way I can cover a little bit of each um, investment strategy that you can use. So one of the things that I you know, get questioned, like I said, a lot is, okay, Liz, I know that real estate, there's a lot of money to be made, right? Um, but somehow I just don't know where exactly, which is my best option in, you know, it's like any other investments that we do in life. How comfortable do you feel, right? That's very important, believe it or not, because number one, we're going to break it down into three segments, right? And the wholesaling obviously is the most easy way that you can get started in real estate and why is that well because most of the time it's true what you hear um that you really doesn't require too much money out of your pocket and and you know there's good opportunities out there even even though we have a very high price market um especially depending what part of the you know united states um you know in state that you live in but there is still good opportunities out there. And remember, not everyone is willing to get into the real estate. Not everyone is willing to put the time and the effort and a little bit of money because even though it's the easiest way to get started in real estate, being a wholesaler, um, people don't realize you're still gonna have some expense. Remember that, right? And, and yes, I want you to make sure you keep track of those expenses because that's something you're gonna be able to deduct uh, once you get your first deal as a wholesaler. So one of the things is you're gonna have gas, you're gonna have obviously some uh, perhaps printing you know, uh, expenses such as buying your business cards, um, perhaps you might wanna have some pens, certain, uh, maybe a website uh, to attract those warm and cold leads. Um, so it's a process that you are still going to spend a little money, not as much as the other two options, right? Um, but you're still going to need to count with a little bit of, um, I call it reserves, okay? Easy, yes it is. Perhaps faster, yes, that's also true. Um, but I think the most important thing is choosing one and really concentrating in just one. Because I've seen that a lot happening. Um, I'm very active throughout the real estate networking events. And, um, and one of the things I, I see a lot of special young people is that they try to jump in different, you know, um, uh, you know, opportunities, concentrate on one, focus just in one single one. Okay. Because when we are able to put our energy and we're able to just focus on one single thing, usually we get much better results. So again, wholesaling, yes, it's easier. It still requires a little bit of money, the least possible. Um, and it's great for somebody who's working full time job. You can do this as a side hustler, right? Um, and make some money. Uh, and once you get that experience, once you get to do at least, I would say probably about three, you know, uh, wholesale uh, deals, then you get that expertise, and then you're able to move up, right? Now, for the ones who are really ready to jump for fix and flip, my first recommendation would be try to get a JV, a joint venture, with someone else who does have the experience. Um, so if you're lacking the experience, then go and get someone who has done it quite a few times and then you can join venture with that person uh, and you can both bring the capital, right, uh, for the down payment, for the rehab, and hopefully you can get the rest of the money through a hard money lender or even better, through a private money uh, investor because those cash investors, they usually you know, charge you less interest. And normally you don't see points uh, which can range anything from two to three points just to get started that 
hard lending, uh, you know, money loan. Um, and then the third option would be someone a little more uh, experienced in the real estate, meaning that uh, you probably have done some sort of fixed flip or, or so, and maybe you want to get into becoming a landlord. Obviously, I think that the long term, this is the best strategy. However, it does require a lot more money out of the other two options before that I mentioned. And the reason behind that is because now you're keeping that property. So now remember, you're responsible of handling the maintenance of that property from taxes to doing your, your return to making sure that you're keeping, uh, you know, record keeping of uh, everything, transactions that are happening, occurring through that property. Uh, so it takes a, another level of responsibility and obligation. Um, but at the long term, it pays off because it's true. There's nothing better than to have that passive income, someone else paying your mortgage, and you, at the long term, acquiring a tangible, something you can touch, such as a property, and, and having that for your future. And, and I think that anybody can really get started with this once they have a little bit of experience into the real estate industry. So anyhow, those are my tips for you. So again, uh, you know, if you're very undecided right now to which, you know, um, option might be better for you, like I said, wholesaling is a lot easier, uh, less money required. Um, second fix and flip, like I said, I highly recommend that you get a, a partner uh, in the deal. Um, at the long term, I think that's going to, you know, um, it's going to be more beneficial. Um, the last thing you want to do is it's spend the cash money you have earned and then take a huge loss, which I've seen that also with a lot of newbies in, in, in the industry. And third, becoming a landlord. So I hope my tips have helped you somehow um, from clarity. Um, again, I am a tax advisor and accountant um, and I do specialize in the real estate niche. So if you need to reach out to me, uh, for any specific questions, I always can do some consultations and um, and I want to help you know prospect clients out there to make the right choices. Um, I hear a lot of things in the media and I know you get a lot of free information out there and unfortunately some of that information is not as good and as valid. So I want you to be careful with that and always you know listen to people who have experience, people who have been in the industry and um, that's going to really, really uh, stream down you know, your, your mistakes and, and hopefully avoid some of the things. So uh, again, if you haven't heard, I have a podcast, I have a webcast on YouTube, so you can look at a lot of the interviews that I've done to experts, which has been amazing, by the way. And hopefully you might be able to pick up a few golden nuggets here and there from others who have been in the industry doing this. So thank you so much for taking the time to come into my channel. And like I said, subscribe and... Um, and follow up. Um, I mean, just, you know, stay connected with me because I love sharing information in industry. And, um, and I think it's important that, you know, we all grow, um, you know, uh, from time to time. And it, I think it's important that you also attend a lot of real estate networking events, by the way, no matter what you're doing. Okay. Because remember, it's about relationships and that's how we build. It takes time to build relationships, right? So always take that into account. Um, so I think that's important. Anyhow, I wish you a lot of success. And like I said, reach out to me. Um, and if there's anything I can help you with, um, can be reached at my website address, which is etbsfl.com. And, uh, and if not, you can always um, make a comment um, in the box below at the YouTube channel. And uh, if there's anything else, just Get connected with me. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.